This rodeo concert schedule brought to you by the new 2022 Chevy Silverado, the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever. Thursday night, the music kicks off with the one and only Toby Keith. Sing along to the dance floor favorite, Drinking Problem. Friday night, it's Midland. Saturday afternoon, it's Wiley Green at 1. Then it's God Bless Texas. Little Texas hits the stage at 7. And you better hold on to your hats. Sunday afternoon, it's Texas favorite, Wade Bowen. And then Sunday evening, it's legendary, Delta Dawn herself, Tanya Tucker. Let's rodeo, San Antonio. Staying home sick, absolutely no fun, especially if you're a soccer coach and it means you're missing a big game. However, that didn't stop one German coach from trying to get involved as much as he could from his living room. CNN's Jeannie Mose has more. Do you ever yell at the TV like a maniac? Oh my, oh my, oh my. German coach Stefan Baumgart is known for yelling and gesturing at his Cologne soccer team from the sidelines. But when he was sidelined by COVID, all he could do was holler at the TV. He even wore the same hat he wears at games. His daughter posted the rant on TikTok where German fans declared him a legend. He is the best, but the best supporting player had four legs. He nearly killed that dog by sitting on his head. It was as if his dog was trying to calm the coach with a little shoulder rub. Not once, but twice. As one fan wrote in German, I don't want to know what would have happened if FC, the coach's team, would have lost. The team won by a single point, but the true hero is the dog that literally got butted and still managed to act like a goalpost. Ginimos, CNN. New York. Clearly. There are some similarities between that living room and mine during the LSU game. <laughs> Man, that's I never weird. thought the videotape it, though. That's a great idea. That, yeah, that, do that I'll do that. I'll do yeah. that. I'll do that. But they're playing A&M. Uh, yeah. A yeah. A lot of bleeping. A lot of bleeping. Like, there'll be a lot of bleeping. Will it smell like roses, though? When it's oh, over? everything's coming up roses. Yeah. Right? It We're is. sharing the love today. Indeed. <laughs> Megan Sevilla from Bloom and Stem is here because it is time to start thinking about buying roses. And a lot of guys wait till the day before Valentine's, but you can get them late this week, right? Yes, get them late this week, get them Friday, get them Saturday before the big game on Sunday. And you either get them when they're little, tiny, and tight like that, yeah. or if they're bigger, you can, and these are not as delicate as we think they are, right? No. So you can just spread them out and yep. do all this? Whenever they're open like this, you can make them a little bit different, That's a little bit more. Scary to um, do, but you got it. You got it. Okay. Look at that! You open it up, and that that looks that looks like, like a up. whole nother flower. Very nice, Very nicely done. To do. More, of course, from Megan's Via and Blue and Stem coming up in the show. And of course, we're going to show you how you can craft your very own home decorations together for a special Valentine's date light date night. Did we mention that it's BYOB? Ah, yes it is. Mm -hmm. That could be a fun one. And of course, roses and sweets. And our sweet Adina Anderson <laughs> is here. So you've got a great way, instead of just a box of chocolate, lay everything out, right? Yeah, do a chartreuse board. Ah, yeah! Chartreuse! <laughs> you know, get all your favorite Valentine candies and cookies and put them together and give it as a gift or just eat it yourself. Like, you know. I'm keep kind that of on the table and keep picking okay with that all day long. <laughs> now, if you're not actually doing Valentine's, mm -hmm. it is a Galentine's. We're going to tell you about an event happening this weekend. And of course, we'll also talk about the vintage finds that you can get there at Hello Tallulah. Yes, indeed. And then, you know, of course, the Olympics are going on, Winter Olympics. And the question is, if you were an Olympic athlete, any sport you could pick, what would it be? <laughs> yes. Let Let's us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back. Right now, 62 degrees, 68 today. I mean, what a week. This could be a great week to be outside. Upper 60s, low 70s throughout the rest of the work week. The one little change there, Saturday breezy. Uh, frontal battery comes through. That may kick off a shower or two. Otherwise, more great weather as we get into Sunday and Monday. Temperatures in the 60s. 
Uh, just good looking seven day forecast there, guys. Really pretty. You're making the rodeo folks awfully yeah. happy. Put that rodeo hat up there. That's good. Nice set. And uh, speaking of uh, awful happy, Mike and Fiona are trying to figure out a way to make your spouse, your significant other, very happy come Monday on Valentine's Day. About the, were your flowers yet? Mike and Fiona are going <laughs> to try to figure out a way to make everybody really happy come Monday. As a live starts right. That was a no. Now. <laughs> Today on I said Live, how you can craft your very own home decor together for a special Valentine's date night. Did we mention that it's BYOB? Transport back in time at this amazing vintage shop. Hello Tallulah is located in the Deco District. They have handmade accessories that you will absolutely love along with all the gorgeous fashion. We're taking you there today on SA Live. And new grain-free and gluten-free recipes from a local businesswoman making San Antonio a little healthier, one waffle at a time. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. A rose, a simple rose, a single red rose, how romantic. Oh, thank you. I was going to say, give that to David Sears, you know, so he can start, he can start <laughs> he can collecting start the flowers that yeah, for Dina. So, <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Oster Hage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, of course, this past Saturday was the Capricorn. Yeah. We had so much fun out mm -hmm. there right along Houston Street. So many folks, even though it was really, really cold, a lot of people came out there to enjoy it. And, you know, 50, 75 had a Longhorns and everybody else is out there. And, you know, we never know what's going to happen year to year. And as the parade is led through San Antonio's downtown streets by a herd of Texas Longhorns, you know, <laughs> you, you really do never know what's going to happen. Yes, yeah, so many head of cattle and horses and historic carriages and wagons and everything. And there is Miss Rodeo Texas right there. The Viva Tejana Dance Group, bringing the, the energy. Yep, the official kickoff. And there's the uh, the lassos from Jefferson High School, Texas A&M, of course. But the official kickoff of the uh, San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, which, of course, begins on Thursday. And along with some warm coats and gloves, we were decked out quite nice. Thanks to the Boot Barn. Yes, over there at their Dove Creek location, um, they provided, of course, our Western wear hats. Hats and boots. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. Oh, oh, there we go. Boots. Oh, I'm so glad you did not hurt yourself doing that. Okay. <laughs> JC, hold on. Yeah. Here, look, look at these boots. With the fringe on them, too. I love yeah. those, right? Thank you, Boot Barn. <laughs> we had a great time out there. And of course, don't forget that rodeo special uh, coming up on KSAT hosted by David and Ursula, and that is going to be on Thursday evening. More on that to come. All right, well, regardless of whether you are in a hurry or if you have tons of time to make your own bouquet for your sweetheart this Valentine's Day, Bloom and Stem has you covered with these arrangement ideas. And our dear friend, Megan Sevilla, is here. There's her oh. photos, and here is her in person. How are ya? <laughs> oh. Excited. Okay, panic, All right. panic is set in. Panic is setting in for a lot of people, let me tell you, but don't worry we've got you covered here because okay. you can get your flowers roses yes. at yes. any grocery anywhere store, right? and target convenience stores walgreens everywhere is going to have flowers this time of year so if you are in a pinch we're going to show you how to spice up your roses today All right. okay how are we getting started here? okay so let's go ahead and grab our roses first so this is like if you are out and you're like i just need to get some roses so these are these have been open you can see they're a little bit they're not as tight as these roses here mm -hmm. so they they've been a little bit out a few days um and we're going to spice them up like we've done so go ahead let's get our hands in there just it's go just ahead and you can start to peel them back yeah so you don't necessarily have to purchase the ones that are fairly close no okay. yeah this will allow you to get a little bit creative you spend a lot of money on roses and you, you think you don't want to start like just tearing into them like this yeah but this is what you're supposed to do mm-hmm so these have been out for a few days and you can tell because the petals are a little bit further apart and then just massaging them back pulling them and spicing them up, making them a little bit different. Yeah. And that little bit makes all the difference in the world Just open them between up a bit. those two flowers. Yes. Look at that there. Roses travel a lot. So a lot of these roses come from Ecuador. So mm -hmm. they're on trucks, they're on planes. They're okay. coming from far places. So. And as you've shown us before, you can even take the petals and fold them back. Yes, you can right. fold them back here. Now you've been practicing and this it, on the weekends, haven't you? Yes, I have. <laughs> 
<laughs> and is, like we've done before, give them a little, give them a little twirl at oh, the bottom. Okay. Yeah, right. help them open. Okay. And so once you've got these oh. kind of, yeah, there you go, you guys. So. Oh. Okay. Yes. Now let's go ahead and give them a cut. So let's make them. Just drop them in, give mm -hmm. them a cut. Let's do a little bit of different sizing. So let's go some high, let's go some low. And you can Don't buy, even think about it. A lot of guys think that it's gotta be Saturday or Sunday so the roses are fresh. You can get them Thursday if you, you want to, You can get right? them Thursday, you can get them Friday. Okay. okay. But They're gonna be good. The Just secret is change water. Right? Change the water every day. And okay. where should you store them if you're saving them? Store them in a cool place, mm -hmm. away from vents that have heat coming through. Okay. okay. Yeah, you guys, see? We just spice up the roses a little bit and this took us two minutes to do. Yeah, not, oh, look at that. Not too I love it. Right. <laughs> now, the Are other... you checking this off your list right now, Mike? Yeah, exactly. All right, <laughs> the been... other neat thing to do uh -huh. is you can make a heart of flowers. Yes! Like we have right there. Yep, so if you have a little bit extra time and you wanna get a little crafty, these are, containers from chocolates, lids. So all we did was flip them over and I added some oasis. So this is water inside of foam and it's gonna hold the hydration in your flowers. Mm -hmm. Yes, so all you'll do, give it a little cut. You, it doesn't have to be exact inside of that heart. And then we'll start cutting these stems okay. and start placing them along the flowers, all, along the foam. And what are the best ones to use for this? These would be good for carnations, the mums that we have, these white mums, and then little tiny spray roses. So they're little mini roses compared mm -hmm. to our size, and you can still open those up and they take up a lot of space. Oh, okay. okay, so use the same concept of yes, open them up, up, give a them bit. a little fluff. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. and they also kind of take up a little more room. Yes. <laughs> now, I as see. far as and it's fun to do with kids and things like that. Obviously, you can't change the water on these, but just keep watering them. Is that yeah, the you can just put water into the bottom. Okay. Keeps a little bit hydration. All right. Okay. If just people need okay. to order flowers from you. Head to bloomandstem.com, uh -huh. and I've got my orders up and ready to roll. All right, okay. so there's still time to there's order, There's still right? time. There's still time. Did you hear that, guys? There's, there's still, still time. time. There's still time. <laughs> All those great tricks. All right, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And for more information on Bloom and Stem, of course, go to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or click on that little fuzzy square on the bottom left corner. Yes. So. Or, or, or take a picture of it. Snap take it. Take a picture of it. Hmm? Okay. Click. <laughs> All right. Snap it. Wait, so, what did I say? Wait, you said click. Oh, darn it. I thought I was getting the right. So. Really. Unless you're thinking of a click, like a click. <laughs> All right. So the Winter Olympics, of course, are happening. Mm -hmm. so. And if you were an Olympian, mm -hmm. the Olympian <laughs> ideal, uh, what event would you like to be in in the Winter Olympics? How about you? Oh, I'd love to be a figure skater. That would just be so fun. That would be pretty cool. So <laughs> that would be I'm gonna cool. do bob, I'm gonna do bobsled. I could see you doing that'd that. Be a blast. Bobsled or the ski flying? Um. It'd probably be a one-time deal because I mean that'd be it. But <laughs> your one shot. So let us know which Winter Olympic sport would you try at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, retro beauty shop shopping adventure, and that's what you'll find at Hello Tallulah. And this weekend they are planning a huge. Galentine's event. Yes, our Jen Tobias Strusky takes us there to go back in time and find those classic finds. Today we take you inside Hello Tallulah. It's a local shop in the Deco District that's perfect for Valentine's or Galentine's and you will absolutely love the experience here. We're back out here at Hello Tallulah. It's been a few years since SA Live has featured and actually came to visit. I'm so happy to be back. Christina, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for being here. I love when you guys visit. I love visiting. There's so many things I see, but I'll shop later. Let's first talk about what's new with Hello Tallulah. So there's so many things going on with the shop. First of all, we have an event for Galentine's Day. You can get your hair and makeup done. We'll have a photo booth area. Super fun, make you feel fabulous. <laughs> uh, and recently I was part of a top secret project. My friend was asked to uh, feature some of her clothing and her shop in Queer Eye. And so she pulled some of her pieces from my store. 
So because I'm known as having a variety of sizes, she needed certain styles and certain sizes, and I was more than happy to help. So if you watch the new episode of Queer Eye, you'll see some dresses from my personal closet and from the store. How awesome. Um, I also had someone recently from HBO come for a new show starring Elizabeth Olsen. So you just never know what's going to happen. Goosebumps. Okay, I know. Seriously, that's, that's so sad. awesome. So you never know who's going to come shop for you. Never. Show. And you put all, put in all the work, right? Like you go and oh, you find this. Oh, it's all, all me. Yeah. I'm a one woman show. Like I have friends and family that are so supportive and always helping me. And I'm so appreciative. But on the everyday, it is me here picking stuff, looking for styling people. Oh, and I forgot. my One of my favorite customers was Bianca Del Rio, who is a famous drag queen, winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. Wow. I just slid into her DMs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. literally. And she came in, she loved it. She bought a bunch of fabulous pieces, so you never know. Never know who's going to come in. I don't want anyone to be intimidated <laughs> by vintage. It's not a costume. It's just fabulous clothes that you are giving a second life. There's something unique. No one else is going to have it. Now time for some fun looks from different decades. The first models we have are from the 1950s and 1960s attire. They're wearing something high-end, glamorous, and elegant. We've got the pink, which is representative of the early 60s. You got like a brocade fabric. How fabulous is that color? And then this black dress is a 1950s prom dress. You can wear that to a cocktail event, uh, to your next prom. We, we have a lot of young teens who are just exploring vintage and their style, which I love. Yeah, so this is just showing that you don't need to go full on vintage. You don't need to be scared of vintage to really enjoy it. And the accessories are both the earrings you can both find at Hello Tallulah. Here we've got a 70s look and an 80s look, both of which you can be used in a casual setting, you can on a date night, or just when you want to feel cute, go into the store. We've got this really intricate uh, statement piece on a little black dress, and then we've got a really cool coral 1970s boho vibes. You know, I always think that vintage should be worn and loved, and you can go for any decade that is your favorite. For you. Ooh, perfect. Oh gosh, you're good at your job, aren't you? Look at that. Okay, perfect. For more information on Hello Tulula, just head over to SALive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, and we have all of her information there. This is adorable, gorgeous. All right, I can't wait to try this on. Well, the Galentine's Day party is this Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. at the shop located at 1912 Fredericksburg Road. There's going to be food, drinks, beauty vendors, and a photo booth. Head over to SALive.com for more information and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead is a great date night idea. Bring your own drinks and build your own Valentine's Day home decor projects together. We share more on this local spot in just a bit. Plus, DIY Valentine's Day treats, banners, drinks, and more from lifestyle expert Adina Anderson. Well, grab your scissors and glitter because we are getting crafty for Valentine's Day. <laughs> what are you having a fight with those little sticks? Listen, you know, me and glue dots, we... We don't get along. <laughs> I can just sit here and watch you guys all day. This is fun. Adina Anderson, <laughs> owner of Creative Lifestyles with Adina, is here with some great <laughs> DIY Valentine's crafts. But before you get going, you need to have a cocktail, right? You do, you do. And I was on a wine tour last week. They have this Hill Country wine tour that you can do. They do it four times a year. Mm -hmm. And one of the best wineries I went to was this Ron Yates and I grabbed his wine it's a sparkling wine and I'm doing a kind of a take on a Moscow mule so we have our enchanted rock vodka which you guys know I love it's here in Texas yes. so I do my little Michigan pour my four count or you could measure <laughs> it and do a one ounce or two ounce however you like it and then you top it off with the Ron Yates sparkling wine Oh, that looks so you get light a little pink. and refreshing. Yes. With and, the and then the in there. you want to dip your strawberry a little bit in there, add some sugar to it. It's just kind of a little touch to it. Put that on top and finish it off with your, here, I'll just grab from here, your candy hearts. And that makes it your little Valentine's cocktail. Oh, <laughs> and look at that. Or you can even put the Red Hots in there or something you like that. Could. Too, you yes, to. definitely. Yeah, okay. but you got to make sure you got your enchanted rock vodka. That's the key because it's a good vodka. All right. <laughs> 
And what? now we have our little thing that you've been messing with over here. If you want so to wrestle with blue dots on Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> these are cute little wall hangings you can do. And these are just canvas yeah. boards. You could use construction paper. You could use big canvas, however you want to do it. Fiona's doing the glue dots mm -hmm. with the pom-poms. And Mike's over there doing the decoupage with the glitter. And okay. he's having fun with the, I, I you got a little bit too I much? I poured a little too much. How do, what happens if you You can just pour it back in. I can't get it. And so, or just pour it on that paper right there oh, in okay. front. There you go. Yep, you're fine. And then all you're going to do is sprinkle the glitter over it. So when you put your decoupage on, you do want to put a good layer, and, I, and you knew that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you were going for that. Within and then you reason. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then you just sprinkle your glitter all over it. And what's cool is that you could do a whole bunch of these boards. You could use pom-poms. You could use glitter. You could use paint. Whatever you have around the house is what makes it fun. Okay. Yes. How are you doing with your little glue dots over there? <laughs> oh, there we go. Making my way around. Yay. Okay. And then, oh, you just take the top off. Just, oh, have fun with it. Okay. <laughs> and for the banner, I just got these little wood boards on Amazon. They, I was like 50 to a package, so I've been using them. And I painted one side so that you can use the other side for a different holiday. And I just used the antique medium with the paint. And then you can use, what I, right here, uh, you have the Erin Condren markers. Those are great. They go on wood or scrapbook or whatever. And I traced out the hearts, and then I traced out the letters and colored them in with the markers. And you said if you're going to use this glitter, uh, be careful because it goes everywhere. It's very fine glitter. So when you're using very fine glitter, it does go everywhere. And okay. it's really hard to get You'll off things. You'll find it for years. <laughs> You'll find it forever. <laughs> yes. And then another fun treat thing I have here is the balloons in front of you guys. So you take a balloon and you put a piece of candy inside there. Yes. And then you blow it up and tie it off. <laughs> <laughs> I could be on a balloon. Was that the balloon? <laughs> And so we'll, we'll pretend that it's tied off. And so, yeah. <laughs> okay. But you can hang a whole bunch We're of them along the wall. Mike, okay. And then just, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and poke it, okay? okay. Well, maybe. <laughs> Even though I knew that was happening. Because then the candy falls out, so you could give all the kids a little pin. <laughs> yes. And so that they, have the pop, they can pop the balloon and have pop fun. It. Go ahead. <laughs> it's right there. Sure. Don't hit me. I'm not going to hit you. <laughs> Those but it's a fun <laughs> Valentine's craft and a fun little thing you can do with the kids and you know it gets, it's it's kind of like a pinata I guess for Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like. <laughs> yes. Or just let the balloon go. Always yes. and then they chase it for the candy. <laughs> I like that one. Always fun ideas that don't cost a fortune. Exactly. And yeah, it keeps everybody entertained, even the adults even like us. So. <laughs> Well, we're easily entertained. That's true. Yes. So, okay. all right. <laughs> cheers. Happy Yay, Valentine's cheers. Day. <laughs> uh, all right. For more information on creative lifestyles with Adina, just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. I have candy in my oh, mouth. Oh, yes, you Could do. You read, okay. <laughs> okay. Or just snap that QR code on your screen. All right. Warm up this weekend with a tasty and surprisingly healthy hot waffle plate. We're going to give you the details next. And the future of solar technology isn't a panel, it's a shingle. How this new way to go solar will help you save even more money. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, we've all seen solar panels. What about solar shingles? Now, they don't just use part of your roof for solar power. They use the whole thing. Here to tell us more on how it works is Dwayne Charping, owner and founder of Roofix. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Mike. Okay, you work with Timberline Solar Shingles. What do we need to know about those? Yeah, so GAF is the uh, manufacturer of shingles and solar. Uh, they've been around since the 1800s, and they have been in development and building this product right at about the time Tesla came out with their first glass tile roofing system. Mm -hmm. And the exciting thing about this product here is its durability, it's powerful, and it looks good when it goes up on a house. It doesn't look like a rack mounted and, Tetris. I mean, there's the nailing strip like you would with a regular uh, Absolutely. shingles. And the other thing, when it goes on your roof, and let's pretend the floor is the roof right there. That's correct. They all get lined up and all hooked together. And a lot of times people are worried about hail. That's right. You don't have to worry about that. With That's this, right? a beautiful part. I mean, you can pound on it. You'll be able to walk on it. It's actually stronger than the shingles on your house. It has a, a class four rating, so you are not going to break the solar. It is hail resistant. Okay, what's better? Why are shingles better than the solar panel? Well, you know, panels is the, you know, so we do all solar, even solar, uh, you know, your Tesla to solar panels to solar shingles. And then so you got a good, better, and best, of course. 
the unique thing about the best, it just became just as affordable as the rack mounted cheaper looking uglier mm -hmm. looking solar so we're in the same price range and that's what tesla could not do jf has done so we can put this on your roof maximizing more of your space so we can get to net metering we want to reverse your cost of what you're paying on your electric bill we want to get rid of that cost and then you're going to pay a low monthly payment of maybe 90 dollars instead of two to three hundred dollars a month on a utility bill plus we are having rising costs. We mm -hmm. all know utilities are going up and we're still having rolling brownouts. So you get a lot of protection when you go with a panel like this because one, it's backed. It's the only solar that you can ever buy backed with a lifetime warranty and it covers full production and its components. So people looking into solar and wanting to go green and taking advantage and wanting to save money instantly, there is no cost to switch and great incentives. And also you said aesthetically, these match your shingles. So if you don't do the whole roof and even architectural shingles, you get them. This. That's right. It's yep. not gonna stand out like a sore thumb. No, I mean, it looks sophisticated and How clean. How about CPS rebates, tax rebates? That's, I mean, now's the time to buy. You got all these government incentives, right? You're getting 26%. And when you do a solar shingle, and let's say it's time for a new roof, you do solar shingles and a roof, you get a 26% tax credit on the whole product. That is huge savings. Plus the utility companies are paying you $2,500 to switch. Okay. So with all the incentives that you have going right now, now makes it the absolute best time and rates are really low. So so we have really low payments. And no payments till 2023, right? And no payments. Yeah, so you will go without paying anything till next year. Okay. Well, if you'd like more information on Roof Fix, just give them a call 210 454 2400 or visit the website roofffixsa.com. Dwayne, great talking to you as always. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mike. All right. Still ahead. It is a fun date night out. Make your own Valentine's Day decor and games with your sweetheart. And. Ooh, we have got some warm waffles, but guess what? They are the savory kind. We're gonna make them coming up. Oh, that looks so good in that picture. She is the wizard of grain-free and gluten-free recipes. Yes, and she's taking it a step further with hot waffle plate. So yes, Priscilla Benavidez, owner of Pure Heart Foods, is back. Hello, hello. Hi. All right, we are specifically making a chorizo waffle yes. recipe, right? Yes, we're using our grain-free pancake and waffle mix. And, um, you know, you can add anything to waffles, right? Most people think sweet, but we're going to do savory today. This has been really popular at my pop-ups that we have. So we are using Pure Pastures. Okay. It's a local chorizo. They're out by Canyon Lake mm -hmm. today. And so I think you've already started, right? Mm -hmm. We took our, our pancake mix. I think you already added the butter. Yep. Mm -hmm. And now? Right, we're gonna do uh, half a cup of milk. Okay, half a cup. Yes. Okay. And the nice thing about your mixes, because the last few times you've been on the show, how versatile they are. You've cook chicken in this yes. as, a, as a chicken coating. So that's yes. nice when you can just buy one thing and you use it use in so many different ways from multiple. breakfast to dinner, right? Right, I think last time we did a fried chicken on salad mm -hmm. and um, you can always make pancakes, right? Um, so those some course, chives? Yeah, today we're waffles. Mm -hmm. So we got some chives and some seasonings. It's like parsley, garlic salt, garlic powder. Okay. So yeah, we're kind of giving it that savory base. Um, Almost kind of like a cornbread type flavor. Okay. So why did and you then, decide oh, to yeah. come up with all of your uh, gluten-free mixes? There you go. So um, five, six years ago, I was really struggling with my autoimmune disease and mm -hmm. um, some other health complications. And so I switched to a low inflammation lifestyle. And so that was a huge part of me getting better, you know, living a better, way of life, you know, and um, gaining my energy and healing that with some other things, of course, but, but nutrition is such a huge part of it. So, so here two years ago, I started Pure Heart Foods so that um, I could offer this low inflammation um, baking options to the public. 
But the big question was, or the what you the proof was in uh, the right. your son, right? Yes, because my if son. It wasn't to taste good. He wasn't gonna eat it. Right. So we started with the uh, pancake and waffle mix. We have a muffin mix now also, but the. The true test was my son, the brunch on Saturday mornings for sure. And when he liked it and my family liked it, then I knew we were <laughs> on to something. Okay. So we've got yes. this all mixed up, yes. right? Yes. She has okay. the um, the mix, yep. Mm -hmm. And it's going to look kind of thick because of everything we've added to okay. it. So just... Actually, did you get the two eggs? Where are they? The witch? The, the eggs. Yes. Oh, Sorry. you need eggs in there oh, too. Oh, the two oh, eggs. I was, I was wondering. Oh. It's a I'm thick. like, okay, it yeah. looks really <laughs> thick. My, I'm looking around. We're going to need those eggs. Yes. Okay. We're making You're waffle such a biscuits the, today. With so. the egg cracking. <laughs> this is the one thing I can do. Okay. Awesome. There we go. All right. I'm glad now, I checked on it. That's why I showed it to you. I go, is that right? That, that looks it's a little thick. It's a little thick. thick. Yes. <laughs> and then he's over here with those fried eggs. They're ready. Yeah. We're going to top the waffles with fried eggs. Where can folks find your your mixes? Okay, so I'm online at pureheartfoods.com. Mm -hmm. I also do pop-ups at the um, Pearl Farmers Market every month. And then I'm in some local grocers like Southwest Elixirs, at Blue Star Provisions. And you'll see me popping up at different places um, if you follow me on social media. And do your mixes just mix up like, like any other kind of a pancake batter, waffle batter, anything like that? Right, so okay. it is gonna be a little thicker texture because mm -hmm. we're using the coconut flour and arrowroot starch. Oh, she's loading those waffles. Yeah, you're gonna wanna shred those good out. Ones. Okay. <laughs> okay, that and makes um, they are gonna be really, really fluffy um, and thicker than, than a little bit like a regular flour, okay. right? Mm -hmm. um, but the, waf uh, the waffles really tend to cook a little bit easier. I think for people with, okay. yeah, that aren't used to um, cooking with this type of ingredients. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, where can you find Pure Heart products? Um, online. Mm -hmm. And then at my pop-ups, like I have a pop-up this weekend at Vista Brewing. We're going to do a really fun Valentine menu. Um, I'll also, you'll find me at events doing pop-ups you can see on social media, but online and a few local grocers and then the, the Pearl. What's uh, in the future? So we do have some more new products coming and we are focusing on, we have a lot of people asking for lower carb, higher protein, you know, um, and so we do have some stuff down the road, but you're going to see us out in public in the community at pop-ups a lot more often. Yeah, I think we laid those on there a little, yeah. <laughs> a little bit, so, so those might take a while, but you know, we have... We have the finished product here. And, and be sure to follow the directions on the package and <laughs> add the eggs. <laughs> yes, we need the, the eggs. We need the eggs. <laughs> and don't do what we did. So. Oh, right. well, thank you so very much. And also, you have a discount code, by the way. Yes, right? it's SA Live, and you can get 15% off um, through the end of the month. Huh, and sure. yeah, there's also some shipping codes on the website yeah. you'll see if you order over $50. Okay. okay. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. How is it? Stacy? Really good. Okay. Really good. Love that chorizo. Awesome. Mm -hmm. On Pure Heart Foods, head over to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or snap Yay. the QR code at the bottom of your screen right there. <laughs> All right. Make Valentine's Day special with a fun date night, making home decor projects together, and it's BYOB. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Valentine's Day, of course, is fast approaching. And if you need a fun date night idea, uh, maybe something for some little gifts or just you know, something different to do, Rustic Brush over there in Hollywood Park is just a, a fun, different little place to go. And Devin Moreno is the manager. So this would make a really interesting Valentine's. Would yeah, you? absolutely. This would be great for a date night. You know, come in, plan a, a night anytime in the, the month of February and just kind of get away way and enjoy some time together building something together. Okay, and what we have here is a great little tic-tac-toe board that you have, and so you can come in with your Valentine date and assemble this and then also paint the uh, little tic-tac-toe Yeah, the game pieces. Yeah, absolutely. So this one is going to be Valentine's Day themed, but this um, game can be whatever you want. It is customizable. That mm -hmm. is very, very um, big okay. in our shop. A lot of people like to customize their own and things. And you do supply the power tools here. So, right. and you get to do yes. 
What's Valentine's without playing with power tools, right, gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to, you can, like I said, paint this, mm -hmm. uh, however it is. You have all the stencils and everything like that. Yeah, right? absolutely. So we have some of these um, classic Valentine sayings, all mine, you and me, we have be mine. And we just put them on our game pieces, and you paint them. This one, we just went with the classic O on one side, X on the other. Uh -huh. And so there you have your game, ready and set up to, to play. What a cute little thing to do. And that'd be fun, you know, maybe after you uh, head home after dinner or something like that, play a little uh, tic tac toe. And the other nice thing, too, first of all, can you just show up? So you got you to go online. Typically, yeah. Right? Typically, we uh, ask that you book online, make some reservations that way. Um, usually, it takes us uh, 48 hours in advance, would be nice. But mm -hmm. if, if you know you want to get in kind of a last minute date night thing, we can also accommodate to that as well. Okay. And this would be for any night for all ages as well. Correct. Right? Correct. And if you want to have a big party there, you can reserve it for a party. Yeah, you can absolutely reserve the shop for a party and we follow all the uh, COVID safety guidelines, all that good stuff. Okay, and the other nice thing is just to kind of look around behind us on the wall here, all the different things that can be done, even something as large as this blanket ladder, which is a wonderful, I mean, gift idea if you just like to decorate with it, something like that, just all sorts of goodies coming up for uh, yeah, even going into Fiesta or something, right? Yeah, absolutely. In February, we have a cupcake class coming up February 5th. Fifth, so that's you'll be able to make your own cupcake box, cupcake stand, and then uh, also learn how to decorate some Valentine's themed cupcakes. Okay. Yeah. So we've got a lot of really awesome projects, some customs. We have these long boards are really really popular um, to to take home and make for the family and to have on display. Um, but yeah, that's just a couple of the good fun things that we have in the shop. And it is BYOB. Absolutely. So you can bring really anything, sandwiches, even if that's your choice. <laughs> you can bring a little picnic bag. Yeah. You can bring a little picnic and basket. Then set up shop, have a little party, just picnic, glass of wine, something yep. like that. Yep. Play a little tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Absolutely. See if it's a cat's game or not. So. <laughs> okay, well, if you'd like more information over there at the uh, Rustic Brush in Hollywood Park, head on over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we have provided a link. Thank you very much. I'm always neat. I love this stuff. Lose inches off your waistline and save money doing it. That's next on SA Live. New year, new you. If you're looking to make a transformation, this woman saw major results in just a few weeks and all she had to do is hang out under a laser. We're out here at Innovative Lasers of Houston on the northwest side of San Antonio. I am joined by the CEO, Laura Alexis, and also by her patient, Patricia. Hello, Patricia. Hi, hi. Let's talk about the motivation that brought you here. The motivation that brought me here was I just simply wanted to get healthy and just feel good about myself. Um, caretaker for my children and elderly parents and doing all of that, I lost myself and I just was ready to be be healthy again. Mm -hmm. So I saw Laura Alexis's uh, testimonial and it mirrored my mm -hmm what I was going through and I made the call and it was the best call I made in my entire life. And I just want to let everybody know that this works. Diets and exercise just wasn't doing enough for me. Mm -hmm. And what I was doing in the gym wasn't working for me. This did it within weeks, months. So you me. saw those results and, yes, and was it family I photos? Did. Right. Yes, so. I did. Yes, I did. I came in the first two weeks, I started seeing some results. Mm -hmm. uh, four weeks, I was seeing major results. I was feeling better about myself. I was confident. Um, everything about me was just changing drastically. Uh, my family noticed. Um, mm -hmm. My family came on board as well mm -hmm. and they also started seeing changes in their lives as well and so they believe in the Zorona laser and I'm just so happy that I made that call. So last question, how are you feeling now? <laughs> I feel amazing. I am no longer on antidepressants. I'm no longer on high cholesterol, high blood pressure. I'm off all my medication. I'm wearing clothes that I never could wear before. I just feel so good and so confident about myself. Wonderful, very inspiring. So Laura, we're gonna move over to you now because wow, what a testimonial here that you have. Let's talk about the laser. The Serona laser is one of the key ingredients that we use to help our patients with their weight loss journey. It's FDA cleared. It offers no downtime, no swelling, no bruising, no pain, no heat, and no cold. So patients like Patricia undergoing treatment are feeling nothing at all. It's like coming to a spa. 
Wow. Coming to a spa, wow, that's amazing. And I don't feel anything either under these lights, right? No, nothing at all. Uh -huh. What is happening, however, is that the laser itself is creating tiny microscopic tears into the fat cell. The content of the fat cell is naturally seeping through the lymphatic system through the process of urine and sweat. When that happens, bam, the results are immediate, resulting in three to 11 inches in just two weeks, typically half a pound to a pound per visit. Wow, and you have a special, right, for viewers today? We do. Typically, the transformation package is $2,400. However, for viewers now, it is over half off at 1000 And if you're one of the first 100 callers, we'll even throw in an additional three sessions for free. So call us now. Four seven four zero zero nine six. Give us a call now. Thank you so much, Laura. And thank you, Patricia. Thank you. Again, give them a call today for that free consultation with... Four seven four zero zero nine six. And for more information, visit their website, InnovativeLasersOfHouston.com. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Come on, I say live, the biggest football game of the year is this weekend and big time food where you can get these monster game day snacks. Plus, Valentine's Day doesn't have to be all about couples. How one local coffee shop is celebrating the It's all tomorrow at one right here on SA Live. Of the yes. And okay. the agony of defeat. Yes. The Winter Olympics is, of course, happening. So we asked you, what Olympic sport would you want to compete in? And Valerie says, <laughs> ice skating. Yeah, that's pretty much how I would look, too, Valerie. <laughs> yes, Bob's. Okay. Ah. And then, yeah, Bob's lady. That would be fun going down mm -hmm. that chute like that. Mm -hmm. It'd be a blast. So don't forget, bloom and stem. If you are looking for some wonderful roses and these great tips that uh, Megan had, even taking the candy dish, mm -hmm. the lid, and putting the uh, oasis mm -hmm. in there, filling it with water, and taking a little, uh, you can do roses, you can do marigolds. So. You did so well on Thank that. Thank you, and look at you. Mm -hmm. And our beautiful bouquets right here. Don't forget, Thursday mm -hmm. night, the rodeo special, 7 o'clock, we're showing the entire first night of the rodeo, and then David and Ursula have a special from 9 to 10, so it is time to rodeo, folks. All right, we will see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock, right here. Look at snacks with the game.